fake news, false news stories often of a sensational nature created to be widely shared. With social media being more popular than ever, fake news is everywhere. So today I'm going to see if I can trick my Instagram to thinking I won the lottery. Guess what I just bought? I kind of feel lucky today. 12.25. Yo! Crap. I've always wanted a Mini Cooper. This is if I can't assign this car. Check out the new Mini Cooper. <laughs> Amazing! Going to Hawaii! Yeah, I'm serious. Hawaii bound. I saw another video like this on YouTube. His name is George Mason TV, and he basically traveled around the world in Photoshop pictures to his Instagram to see if people believe it. So I want to put this to the test and see if I could do the same. I got fake tickets off Amazon for about $20. They are the first ones on Amazon, so it's a little risky. If someone looks up fake lottery tickets on Amazon, the whole thing is a bust, but I don't think people will be that invested. I love Amazon. All right, well, guess what came in the mail? The lottery tickets. Huh, I spent like $20 for these fake lottery tickets. Oh snap. Oh wow, this is so official. Oh, yes, I love it. These are so good. Like the front and the back look very legit. In order to make this work, we kind of need a game plan. So once those came, I went to a gas station nearby and pretended like I just bought lottery tickets to make it more realistic. All right, guess what I just bought? Some scratchers, baby. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Maybe I'm feeling lucky today, you know? I woke up and I was like, I kind of feel lucky today. So we'll see what happens. Probably waste $12. After I bought the lottery tickets, it was time for probably the most important part, which was faking I won the lottery. I gotta pull out my inner acting and I gotta pretend like I won a lottery. First one, it's a no-go. That's bad, I'm gonna redo it. Dude, I can't act, I can't do it. Okay, acting, here we go, acting. First one. This was a waste of money, total waste of money. My winning numbers, 12, 25, 30. Yo, yo! After I fake won the lottery, I wanted to make it even more convincing so people wouldn't doubt me. I reached out to my friend Brad. He's really good at doing voice impressions. Hi, Victoria. Can I call, uh, can I call you Vicky? It's your, it's your lover. Yes, I'm just going to say hi. Tony, 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 give me my phone back. How you doing? And I changed his phone number to the California lottery phone number so it made it even more realistic. And we basically did a fake call of him saying that I actually won the lottery. So just say like, this is the California lottery. Ask me my numbers and then we'll like wing it from there. All right, sounds good. But talk it up a little. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Luke. Luke who? Okay, Brad. Hey, this is Jimbo with the California King Lottery. How can I help you? You can't say Jimbo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if it's funny, people are gonna know it's fake, you know? Uh, sure, let me put you on hold for one second. We'll get right back to yeah. you. <laughs> three, two, four, eight. Six, four, eight, three, two, four. Okay, continue. Eight, three. <laughs> we just called like a fake lottery and uh, I'm gonna post it on my story and hopefully it works. All right, so I'm calling the like lottery number. Hey, this is Vince with the California King Lottery. How you doing? Hello, uh, I had a quick question about the super cash ticket. Sure. This is Luke Eikensir. Luke Eikensir, what can I do for you today? Um, I was curious if this like lottery ticket is the winning one. Alrighty, why don't you read me your numbers? Okay, it's eight four eight three. And uh, let's give that a second. All right, and are the matching numbers twelve? Yes, they are twelve. Alrighty, Luke. Looks like we do have a winner in fact. Where uh, where did you get that ticket from? If I do ask, we need to put it into our survey. Um, Los Angeles, California. Take it and go on there and return that and uh, make yourself some money. It looks like this is a $50,000 one. So yeah. congratulations. All right, you have a good one, sir. All right.
Bye. Sure. <laughs> I did I can't believe this seems so unrealistic. <laughs> I feel good. This feels, uh, it might be a little messed up, but it's, it's kind of fun to be honest. It's like a prank, but it's a harmless prank. Hello? That actually just happened. Uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I'm kind of freaking out right now. That's freaking ridiculous. Wait, that's kind of, that's, wait, what? Jesus Christ. I'm guessing you told your parents and everything. Not yet, no. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Did you win 50 grand? <laughs> yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> I, like, it's legit. I called the people and I, like, went on the website and I checked and everything. Really? Yeah. Yeah, dude, everyone's calling you. Matt just called me. Dude, look, what's 50 Alive. No, that it's all fake. That's what I thought, dude. It was all like for a video, and I didn't think it would like blow up this much. And even Mason called me, and he thought it's real. Yeah, all his friends are like, dude, Mason did the Luke fifty thousand. Did you just find a remedy to your uh, bankruptcy? I did. Yes, I did. That's kind of ironic. You're broke, and then you just win a bunch of cash. No, I just spent it all. Don't spend it all. That's so stupid. I think I might buy a car, honestly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Bro, did you actually win $50,000? <laughs> yeah, isn't that kind of crazy? I just I went know. to the store and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it and record it for fun. And then you actually ended up winning. That's yeah. crazy. Luke? What's up? Did you actually win? Y yeah. <laughs> No way. <laughs> yeah. I even called the person and... Yeah, I know. That's why I thought it was real. And any your Instagram story just spread out. So I knew it was just like one act to do. That's insane. And I feel like I could tell if you're lying. Some people are saying it's fake, but I could care less what they're saying. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, well, keep me posted. I want to hear if you get it. All right, I'll let you know. Oh my this god. Idiot. What the hell? <laughs> okay, these... Not one person questions it, basically. They're no. just all like, oh yeah. They think it's real. I don't know. This is working better than I thought. The next phase is buying Supreme. We'll see. I was thinking I need to flex on everyone and prove that I actually have some money. Realistically, if you win the lottery, I'm pretty sure it takes a couple days for you to actually get money. If people really thought about it and looked up things about the lottery, they would definitely know it's fake. But we went to the Supreme store. Lottery update, we just got back from the gas station. It's confirmed I won. We did all the like money stuff. And now we're on our way to the Supreme store to meet our friend Gunner. And uh, we might buy a little bit of stuff. <laughs> My friend Gunner was already in line at the Supreme store because he was actually buying Supreme. And I just was going there for a picture and a video for my Instagram story to fake flex that I'm buying expensive things. All right, we're here with uh, Gunner G Nozzle, AKA the biggest. Oh, I just stepped on his brand new shoes. Got my bad. I didn't really it's buy uh, anything, but Gunner bought how much money would you say? A little bit under 3,000, but. Let me see your uh, shoes real quick. Wow. The LA exclusives. How much? I paid a cool two, two, 250 for these. A cool 250. All so basically I'm just trying to get a picture to put on my Instagram story, like trying to flex or something, I guess. Oh my gosh, check out that line. I'm officially a hype beast. Supreme. <laughs> got what we got, we got a board, another board. What we got, Dylan? Got oh my, got holy crap. Wow, we went ham today. All right, thank you guys. I've gotten so many DMs of people just commenting about the lottery ticket. They all think it's very legit. I even got a Venmo. Someone requested a Venmo me $50. My gosh, congrats, Luke. You ain't got to worry about rent money anymore. Too bad it's not real. Wait, you deadass won it? Hold up, that was fake, wasn't it? No, no, no. This makes me feel like I actually won the lottery. Oh my gosh, you were literally getting emotional. That is so sweet. <laughs> Was I getting emotional? I don't know. Here's one. Stop lying. They might be on to me. And just now I took a couple of photos with the, the lottery, the winning lottery ticket. Holy crap, we need a picture of your fat stacks. <laughs> ben, <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. Someone commented, it's not a prank, everyone. Look at his stories. Congrats, Luke. I thought this was a prank at first. I can't believe it. Oh no, someone got me. Yeah, I should delete this comment. $20 on Amazon, clap, clap. 65th and 
day two of trick my Instagram to think I won the lottery. That's crazy. I've already bought Supreme and spent a little bit of money, but now I'm going completely all out and buying a brand new Mini Cooper. I was thinking of buying a more expensive car, but then I thought for 50K, a Mini Cooper is the car that you could afford. It's not as far as a reach if I like legit actually won the lottery. We went to a dealership near us and we filmed a couple of stories to convince that I was buying a car. Lottery update, um, we're here at the Mini Cooper dealership. I've always wanted a Mini Cooper since I was little, so we're gonna see what happens today. <laughs> Big head, little car. <laughs> this is if I can't assign this car. I met up with my friend Natalie who already owned a Mini Cooper. I wanted to show off that I just bought a new car. So here's what I posted to my story. Well, check out the new Mini Cooper. <laughs> um, I don't know why, it was just an instant purchase. This is my favorite part. I'm just still learning the music. Look at this thing, amazing. Amazing! I'm about to post a picture on Instagram that I bought a car. I'm trying to think of a caption that people won't get too mad at when they find out it's fake. But at this point, I think I kind of got to go all out. These last couple... These last couple of days have been crazy. Glad to be driving this one out of the dealership. Room. All right, I'm gonna post it. Just post it. See what the first couple of comments say. New whip, who did? Good things happen to good people. Oh gosh, I'm so happy for you. I'm proud. Man, now I'm regretting this. The last part of the scandal is the fake trip to Hawaii. I have these fake boarding passes I've used from previous flights. Instead of SFO to Boston, I gotta do LAX. To Hawaii. Now we have our fake boarding ticket complete and now we're gonna film the fake Instagram story of surprising Kelly with a fake ticket to Hawaii. Sir, did you see my text? What's that? Did you see my text I sent you? We gotta go soon. We gotta go soon. We got, we're gonna be late. Check it. We're going to Hawaii. Wait. I just booked it. But it's soon, it's at it's at 9.52, so we gotta go oh. soon. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I waited a couple hours to make it realistic of us going to the airport. How I did the airport thing was I took a clip off someone's Instagram where they are already at the airport, and then I took a video walking here of me just saying something like I was actually at the airport, and I combined the two, and boom, you're at the airport. Whitebound. All right, so that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you follow me on Instagram and you were watching along as I post these stories, let me know if you thought it was fake, if you thought it was real. If you wanna see the stories on my Instagram, they are still up there. You could go check them out. I'll leave the link in the description. I guess you could say at the end of the day, a lot of times people on the internet post a lot of fake stuff to try to portray their life as being better than it is. So watch out for that. Um, also, if you're trying to get fake lottery tickets, now you know where to get them. Gotcha. <laughs>